One qual from age 25. We should have a strong soloing in tonight's match. Plenty of good robots out on the field today, as per usual. Many of the robots have crossed out of their community, scoring movement points. Additionally, balanced on nearly both sides, gain additional points for their teams. 10-18, Pike Robo Devils making quick work of their first grain piece, already placing it in the bottom of the grid and grabbing another one. 64-98 in response, doing the same. They do have a unique pincer method down on the ground, so keep your eyes out for 64-98. All the robots are moving swiftly and quickly during the course of this match, trying to minimize their time between picking up a piece and placing it in their grid. Remember, it doesn't matter what the game piece is, it does matter where it's placed. The higher they score, the more points they'll find in their score. 10-24, that's the Kilobytes picking up a piece from the ground in their own looting zone. Most teams are not able to do that this season, so it is a unique mechanism to keep your eyes out for as well. 44-85 on the blue line side, just barely sliding a piece into the lower part of their grid. However, since there was already a piece in that sector, it does not count again. Just over a minute remaining in the match. 64-98, I believe that's Castle making use of their mechanisms to fling themselves around and pick up additional game pieces from their player station at just inside their loaning zone. Both the loading zones and their community are protected areas in this game. 7457 making fine use of their swerve drive that allows them to move around the field with quite precision. Drivers have to be careful where they're maneuvering at all times. 30 seconds remain the match. That means we're in the end game. Students will move their robots towards the charge station, which is now where they can get the most amount of the points for a single action. They can get six points for touching the charge station, but they ideally want 10 per robot by getting it in a balanced configuration. The Blue Alliance already has their way to get two. The Red Alliance sitting pretty with one, but hoping to get another one up there to shore up their match. The Red Alliance is looking pretty good, and we're nearing the end of qualification match 25. Here are your scores for qualification match 25, and the winner is the Red Alliance. With a score of 143, just shy of our event high score this weekend, Kilobytes 1024 maintaining their high ranking point average, propelling them into the second place.